welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this hair look, which is my kind of go-to everyday messy soft waves. And it's just an effortless look. It's really easy to do. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I get it, keep watching. So I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair and I blow dried it. But before I blow dried it, I put in this volume filler densifying jelly from L'Oreal. This is a blow dry lotion that makes your hair have lots of volume and it gives it a little bit of additional hold. I also added just a little bit of this L'Oreal Nutri Gloss High Shine Mist. You guys can pick both of these things up from pretty much any drugstore they sell them. And then the only other thing that you're going to need for this is your brush and a clip and some light hole hairspray. This is also from L'Oreal but this is a salon line. This is the Texture Expert Infinium 2. The curling iron I'm using today is this one from Bedhead. This is the one and a half inch wand. I got mine from Ulta for around $30 and I've had it for a couple years now and it works great. So if you guys are in the market for something like this, uh, I definitely recommend this one. I'm just going to give my hair a quick brush through. And then I'm going to just section my hair off and clip it up. So now I like to work on the bottom third of my hair. So you want about a one inch section and I like to hold my curling iron in my opposite hand. And I like to start two or three inches down from my roots and then stay about an inch away from my ends. So we're only going to be really curling this middle part of your hair. So you just kind of want to wrap it around, hold it for like five or six seconds. And you're left with this really pretty, it's not so much of a curl, it's just kind of a bend. And then you can switch directions as often and as randomly as you like with this. So I'll do this one towards my face. But I do kind of like to touch the ends just a little bit to make sure that they're not poker poker straight. Normally I'll just alternate back and forth based on which direction I just did. If I curl one towards my face, I'll curl the next one away from my face. It just helps to give it a more natural look. As you can tell, both of these curls are going the opposite direction, so it will stop them from becoming just one big curl. So this is what one section looks like when it's done, and I'm just going to spray it with some light hold hairspray. Don't run your fingers through it or anything because you don't want to break these curls up. 